So let's get started here. I am drawing a head, and this character is kind of um, taken from the Archie comics type style. I've drawn in his head, extended a jawline down. Here's his ear. From the ear, I extend lines for his eyes and his nose. Come down, widen the cheek out a little bit to hold his eye. This is uh, just extending the neck down and giving some volume to his neck. I've sped it up here so you can see what I'm drawing with his chest area, his abdomen. I draw just, just sticks for his arms first to figure out, well, what pose should his hands, his arms and hands be in? I was going to stick that right, his right arm out as if it was almost on his hip, but then I decided, well, I'll just have it hanging straight down and have his left hand out as if he's handing something to someone. Now I've drawn in some circles for his eyes. There's the top of his head, and his mouth is open as if he's saying something. I had figured out what it was he was going to say. Now, giving some volume to his arm here, roughing in, very rough for his hands. It's as if he's putting his hand up to say, whoa, whoa, hey, buddy, hold on. And now I'm giving some volume to his thumb and his fingers there. Here's his sleeve being added for the shirt. Slowed it down here so that we could then go to the other arm and fill in the other the other sleeve. There's the fingers going in. Now I've kept the center line here so you can see that I kind of divide up his torso to the center line. And I'm giving him an, an old fashioned hairdo at first, kind of a flat top. That goes back a few years, I guess. So having done that, now I'm going to darken in some of the lines with a color pencil. I forget if this is a collie race black or just a collie race darker blue. And as you can see, I'm giving some more definition as to where those fingers are. And like I said, this is in the style of Archie comics. Um, I ha happen to like a couple of the Archie artists a lot. One of them is Harry Lucy. Look him up. He's such a great artist. He had been doing comics way back in the 40s even. Finished out his career at Archie Comics, doing the Archie title. And he was apparently taken from us much too soon. He had some kind of illness and passed away back in the mid-80s. Now I'm using the Collie Race Blue Pencil. The first one I used was just Collie Race Light Blue. This is the darker version of that blue. I think this number is uh, 1276. I think it, they've kept the same numbering on it throughout these years. Collie Race has been bought and sold a couple of times since I got into business. A little more volume to his hand. Drawing those fingers in. If I was doing this again, I would draw that hand a lot differently than what's down here. So now that I've got things a little bit more uh, defined, by the darker lines. I'm going to go in with a, a brush pen to actually ink the drawing. Now you notice I'm holding the brush almost straight up in the air, perpendicular to the paper. And now I'm holding it on a slant here just so you can see exactly what I'm drawing. But usually when I'm inking I hold it perpendicular to the paper. I've only got it on a slant here just to just to keep it clear of the drawing so you can see the lines that I'm, I'm inking in. This brush pen gives you a nice, a nice fat line that you can vary the thickness. Just by pressing down a little bit on it, you can make the line a little bit thicker. And now I'm doing the hand, the fingers. I've poked his thumb out a little bit just to give it a little bit of difference than everything else. So now I'm holding it a little bit straighter here. They go around the sleeve to show the volume of the sleeve. Um, sorry, my hand is hiding it there a little bit. And going on and giving some solidity to the fingers. It takes some getting used to inking with a brush, even a brush pen. <clears throat> it's not something that you can just, just start doing it. You have to have some practice. I haven't had enough practice, so they say you have to do tons of drawings to get the bad ones out of your system. Well, I'm still doing that, so.
this guy, like I said, I just kind of based him on the style of Archie comics and just kind of made him up out of my head. Archie comic style is this very simplistic, deceptively simplistic style. And when you look at drawing styles like this, you should never be fooled by how it seems to be very simplistic. There's a lot more going on to it than you would think. The simpler character design is, the easier it is to mess it up and not get it just right. Same goes for Archie. Same goes for a simplistic looking character as an animation character. You have to be very careful when you're first drawing it, and even on all the way down to inking it, because it can be so easy to to make it make a simple tiny mistake, and suddenly it doesn't look exactly like the character. So there it is for this episode, and we'll be back next time for another version, not another version, but another Carrie Lacy type style character, which will be the same character, but just be a different drawing, different pose. I hope you can tune in.